fifth gen Ram owners today on the Point Blank Performance YouTube channel. We're showing you on your 19 through 2024 Ram how to upgrade from your factory camshaft, which is a hydraulic roller lifter, to a Hamilton Cam solid tappet conversion. That's right. Mark Carney's build here, he's going in for our C4 HP package. While he's doing that, we're doing a race cylinder head, and yes, you guessed it, we're upgrading the factory camshaft. Now let's take a closer look of this engine, and let's figure out how to get to this point of the build. So we're inside of Mr. Mark's engine. We're taking a look at it. How do we get to this point? Well, obviously the whole front end does have to come off the truck. That means the bumper, the headlights, the grill, everything. Okay, we're looking at the engine. We gotta get this engine prepped. But first of all, why are we doing this installation? I talked about the hydraulic roller lifter. This little guy here can fail. On Mark's, we're doing compounds, we're doing a race cylinder head. It only makes sense. Let's finish this build out right. Let's put the upgraded camshaft in to the fourth gen technology, which is a more robust, a solid tappet. All right, now we gotta get the engine prepped to accept pulling the camshaft out, getting the lifters out. What are we gonna do? Front cover comes off. Let's get it timed correctly. This is the crankshaft. It's at top dead center. The dowel is facing straight up. You'll see it on your harmonic balancer. TDC. Also, you can look at piston number one. It's all the way up. Look at piston number six. It's all the way up. We are now set. We are ready. But you're not ready to pull the camshaft out yet because if you do, this is a trough here, right? That means it's got to catch something. That is the lifter falling into it, the hydraulic roller lifter. We've got to put a magnet in these 12 slots, hold these lifters up, talk to Jesus, and then pull the camshaft out. That was a lot of talk. We're gonna go to the first cylinder. We're gonna make everything I just said make sense by putting the factory lifter back in and then upgrading it to the solid tappet. You guys are seeing the trough go in where the camshaft is. We are starting from a factory point. That means your factory cam is installed our trough, which is our safety net, will be installed in the truck so you guys can actually see what's hanging up in that cylinder. Okay, so your factory cam is in there. Your job now is this. The lifter that you're seeing through the trough, you need to get it as high as possible in all 12 locations. Why? Because you can't pull out the camshaft with the lifter pressing down on it. You will grab it in the board, seeing that lifter come up and down. All right, pull it up. Once it's up in its highest possible point, you will feel it because it will have some resistance, zip tight, or take some vice grips and pinch it here so it cannot move. All right, so we've got our zip tie around there. It's holding that lifter up all the way. You're ready to pull your camshaft out. Keep in mind, if the camshaft does not come out, if it feels like it's catching, watch all the magnets. If they move, you need to go higher. But keep in mind, keep them as high as they can. Be gentle because if they drop, then they're going to see Jesus at the bottom of the pan. Now you're at the point, you've got all 12 locations held of the lifter. They're in their highest point. You can go in, pull the cam. Be very slow, the cam's heavy. So you're gonna pull it out, it's about that damn long. You gotta pull it out, all lifters will stay up. If it fights you, if there's any resistance, turn the cam 180, 360 degrees, pull it out, grab your trough right after that, slide it in. All right, you can take a minute, but now we've gotta get the factory lifters out. They're held up by magnets. What do you do? Go in, start pulling all 12 of them out. Once all 12 is out, you grab them by a magnet, and that is one at a time, boys. We're ready to upgrade to the tappets. So solid tappet conversion by Hamilton Cams. This guy is now ready to go in our fifth gen. When I say that, what am I talking about? There's no more roller on this. There's no more hydraulic on the top. Where can you get these guys? We've got them loaded up to the website. If you need a stock profile cam or you're ready to take it up to like Mark Carney's C4 HP package, we have those camshafts in stock. 
Make for sure before you get this guy installed into its factory location, you use some kind of lube with high zinc in it. Lube this guy up all the way around. Now you're ready to slide it onto your trough and let's put it in its factory location and get that big camshaft installed. So a couple seconds for you guys, but four hours later for me, I've got all 12 tappets in their factory location. I don't have the camera guy here filming me because again, it's a very painful process. That camshaft's about that long and you gotta feed it through here so everything needs to be calm, cool, and collected. We need to go over a couple of checklist things before we sign off on is the camshaft installed correctly. One, we go to the crank. Are we top dead center? First piston up, yes, good to go. We look at the one dot on the crank. Is it between the two dots on the camshaft? Yes, okay. Final thing, we don't need the camshaft to come out. We need to make for sure the two bolts on the camshaft thrust bearing are torqued down. 28 foot pounds, they send direction out. Red Loctite, keep that baby in place. Once we went through all of those, perfect. We're now ready to move to the top end of the engine, show you guys a little bit how the camshaft actually works. First off, think of the camshaft, which is here as the gatekeeper for air to come into the cylinder on top of the piston, and when the piston's ready to exit the exhaust stroke of power, it is the gatekeeper to let the exhaust out. Perfect. Now we got that. As the camshaft turns, when it turns, that tap it rides on a lope. That means it rises. When it rises, the push rod comes up, the rocker arm comes down. Guess what? Gatekeeper says, air come into the cylinder. Well, if we got a bigger cam, that means I can let more people come into the cylinder. Doesn't mean more air mean more power? Should, right? There we go. But also, as it's coming around and we're on the exhaust stroke, if we can get all, all that energy, all that heat to spin that turbine wheel, I'm bringing Godzilla to the turbine wheel, not just the baby Godzilla, but all of it, I can really push that wheel. It's a gerbil on acid, boys. So that's basically, I dumb it down, that's how the camshaft works. It gets the job done. The whole goal of the camshaft is make this fifth gen the most efficient engine possible. Stock camshaft, stock turbocharger, they're paired up, they do a great job, and they do good with compounds. We're not after that. The question is this, I just spent all this money and I put the camshaft in my truck, how much power I gain? 100 horse, 200 horse, 300? Guys, the answer is, I do not know. We value what the camshaft can do as a byproduct, right? The aftermath. We're at 3,000, we're at 3,500 RPMs, 4,000. We got this big 106 or a 94 on marks. We wanna spool that dude as hard as we can. We wanna give a customer a driving experience. So the camshaft is the magical musician of letting air in, letting air out, get that mixture just right, spool those chargers up big. Questions, right? Can you order a Waggler solid tap it, solid roller kit and put in this engine? Yes, sir, you can. Nothing wrong with that. Why did we go with Hamilton? We wanted a bigger camshaft profile. Nothing more than that. Awesome. When I put this camshaft in, is my truck gonna lope, right guys? Because this is just like a gas burner. That's gonna gain us a lot of power and make it sound cool. No, it won't. It will change up the sound, but it's not gonna lope. Put a big set of injectors in there and off we go. So if you own a Cummins 5967 5th gen, guys, let the people know, am I full of shit? Or does a camshaft really gain that much driving experience? Yes, run big turbocharger with stock cam profile, but how is it on the other end? Like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We wanna hear the comment from you guys. Stay tuned with us, because we got some more fifth gen action coming your way.